here now in module number 14 the comparison between CBM and PM meaning between condition based maintenance and preventive maintenance condition based maintenance have been has been developed as uh, one of the most important improvements towards a good preventive maintenance and this optimization process is necessary because in the past uh, the preventive maintenance in the classical mode was kind of expensive and I would explain that so this is uh, critical that we all understand that we want to have this uh, knowledge about uh, condition based maintenance especially now especially now when uh, we have seen so much new technology developing about uh, the different uh, aspects of uh, the behavior or the status of some part of equipment. So CDM considers the usage of the recent technology in vibration, ultrasound, thermography and many other analysis. Oil, oil uh, analysis is, is one of them too. So these uh, technologies have been advancing so much that now allow for us to have better knowledge of how our equipment is doing because finally what we want is to take advantage of this improvement without having any kind of problem with the parts that we are not replacing or that we are taking longer to replace okay so uh, preventing maintenance was uh, in, in the concept, in the original concept, was more time related. It was engaged to time. Sometimes they, you would see that the manufacturer would recommend replace these uh, belts every 80,000 uh, hours or 60,000 hours. Uh, it replace these bearings every 10,000 hours. Things like those. So in that, in that aspect of uh, preventive maintenance, in many cases we had replacement of parts that were not yet bad that were not yet a, a potential da danger for our stability of the equipment were not really something that would hurt our reliability in the equipment so all that of course represented a lot of waste in time and money and that is what CBM, Condition Based Maintenance, will do for us. It will reduce that problem. Now, preventive maintenance, as, as we said, uh, is high cost. Uh, the quality of the parts, the materials, the mounting process that we might have used uh, are mechanical variables that can cause an uneven wear and tear on parts. On the other hand, uh, you remember that in the past there would be uh, some uh, indications like, oh, use this brand of, of uh, bearings, use this brand of belts. That is no longer that relevant. Uh, because today we have, first of all, a much higher competition. So parts have a competitive quality for the most part. Now, in the, in the process of, uh, of maintenance, we will be able, with this new way, we will be able to hear or to read or to see some communication from the parts that are working there. We're going to have the parts talking to us. How about that? We will get some advice from every component in our machines. So. Of course, in some cases, the weather, the load, dust conditions, pollution in, in lubricants in everywhere, temperatures uh, in which our equipment is working, uh, are severe conditions that can shorten the life of the components and lubricants. And we don't want that, of course. So, uh, we will, of course, focus continually and continually we, would, we want to improve the conditions that will help our equipment uh, perform better. So it is important 
that we avoid all those uh, bad conditions that may affect the duration of our components. There are two ways uh, to reduce the irregularity in the performance of preventive maintenance. One big, turning our equipment in higher reliability, into higher reliability. How we you do that? By doing that preventive maintenance very well, very, very well. On the other side, there is another way to improve the quality of the preventive maintenance and therefore the reliability of the equipment. And that is by performing condition-based maintenance. CBM is going to be an ally for every maintain maintainer or maintenance technician that wants to improve the results. That's the key. We all want to improve the results, don't we? Of course. Now, the techniques of uh, condition-based maintenance mostly apply to higher cost uh, uh, equipment and also higher criticality of equipment, meaning those machines that really represent the key to keep our plant going in a perfect shape. So these techniques are mostly based on sensors of all kinds, uh, internal and external. Some sensors that are installed inside the equipment already, and uh, others like the infrared cameras, for example, uh, that will help us also be very proactive in this process. So we are going to make sure that our equipment has all the, the possible uh, protections, all the possible uh, sensors that will tell us how it is doing, and on the other side, to have those pieces of equipment that are external, like vibration analysis, like uh, uh, oil analysis, I had mentioned that, uh, infrared cameras, and several others. Those are going to be a very strong help for us because we will be able to see more and more the effect of this predictive maintenance. Predictive maintenance is evolving faster all the time. And it is helping, of course, uh, in, prevent the expenditure when it is unnecessary of parts that were probably very good in the first place. Uh, the thermal cameras, or, or infrared as they are called, the ultrasound detectors, the vibration and all analysis systems are now very affordable and they are more accurate all the time. So those, those two factors make predictive maintenance easier for us. I remember in the 70s and 80s, well, practically in the 80s and 90s of the past century, we would see the infrared cameras like miraculous devices, but that were very much out of our possibility. Not all companies had the money to buy those pieces of equipment that were uh, cumbersome, that were very heavy, that were very bulky and very expensive. Today, things have changed drastically. Today, you find all these pieces of equipment really low cost and high effectiveness. And that's what we want, of course. It is critical to train very well all our technicians so that they can really use and take advantage of that powerful equipment. That technology is important to take advantage of. Now, it also is important to focus on some suppliers that have recently been including inside of the equipment some sensors that can be helpful also for condition-based maintenance. And uh, on the other side, it is important to recognize that this will pay back. Yes, we are investing in an, in an equipment that is better featured, that has uh, some issues uh, that will be helpful for all of us, but at the same time, this is phenomenal because it will drastically cut down our cost in preventive maintenance. 
And the cost of maintenance, uh, when we reduce it, it is really very positive. And I would like for you guys to have very good results with your maintenance costs, because maintenance costs is a key element. Now, remember, in maintenance and any other activity, it is critical to be more professional all the time. Be more professional all the time because that is what's going to pay back. And uh, I recommend that you visit our website, www.tpm online, as you read here. tpmonline.com is the one of the uh, longest lasting TPM websites in the internet. We have been online for more than 13 years now, and that is uh, something that can be of help to you. In TPM Online, you will find lots of advice, lots of information, and of course, very welcome any emails that you want to send me so that we keep improving this service that we're providing to you. Thank you. I will see you very soon.